All right, hello folks. I am Jay Soren, and I'm going to be going through a Arma Reforger BI Studio tutorial, uh, specifically the vehicle modding tutorial. And this is my first time trying to record any kind of tutorial or do screen capture, and so bear with me while I iron some things out. If this video does not turn out well or there's some settings off I'll probably redo it at some point and I plan on eventually going through all of the BI tutorials for anyone to use to follow along and uh, hopefully be able to give some extra insight or port point some direction on things that are not exactly clear in the tutorials so I guess with that I'll jump right into it I'm gonna start out with going to Steam So here's my Steam. Uh, very basic to get to Armor Reforger tools. You have to purchase Armor Reforger, and this is only available on PC. You cannot access this if you buy the game through Xbox. Again, Reforger tools is only available if you purchase the game. As far as I know, who knows? That might change in the future, but um, uh, I'll try to make sure everything I say is correct. If I make any mistakes, I will try to note them in the comment section of wherever this video is posted. Anyways, uh, so here you can see in my library I have Armor Forger tools. This is where we're going to be working today. So once I start running Reforger tools, you can see that I have my list of projects in the Workbench Launcher. So this is where we can create a new project or say you want to make edits to an existing project or continue working on one you created before, you access that through here. Right now, um, we're gonna step away and look at the tutorial itself. So to do that, I'm going to go to the BI Studios website. You can find this easily by just Googling uh, like I like I did here we have Arma Reforger BI Studio that's all I typed in and it is the first one that comes up I'm gonna click on the Bohemia Interactive website and from here you have all the information on Arma Reforger scrolling down what I'm looking for is this getting started section so we're looking at this Arma Reforger modding Coming into the Armor Reforger modding page, we have these really amazing guides. So uh, if you want to get into this, I recommend going through these and just reading them, trying everything out, going through it. I'm still really new to this and there's a ton I don't know. I'm doing this one to help anyone out who knows less than I do and also to learn. But let's see, so we're going to start with modding tutorials. So now this lays out these different aspects of modding Armor Reforger. So we have the assets, which we're going to focus on today and what all my videos in the near future are going to focus on. We have the Game Master tutorials, official tools, scenario scripting, all those, you know, they're extremely helpful. Go through them and, and just explore. So clicking on the assets, we're coming to the list of all of the asset tutorials you can see they're in top to bottom this is the order that bi recommends doing them and that i also recommend doing if you want to just do this one specific thing like say you only want to do weapon modding there's a bunch of stuff in the prefab basics that they don't go over in the weapon modding they expect you to go through all these other tutorials before you can do this one there's stuff that is built on top of those lessons in the earlier tutorials so it's really important to do those other ones first some of these things you can figure out but you're probably going to struggle a bit I recommend just doing it so I have already done the weapon modding tutorial and gone through the prefab basics today we're going to be doing the car mod modding so I'm going to click on this 
here we go. So the car mining tutorial, the goals of the tutorial, how to modify basic damage characteristics of the vehicle, how to change fuel consumption, how to change basic driving characteristics, change exhaust particle effects, add additional elements to the vehicle with base slot component, and how actions are working and how to add a custom one. So uh, if I remember right, this tutorial we are going to take a UAZ and we're going to give it some really funky characteristics and change the driving characteristics and then I believe we also mount it with some kind of machine gun or automatic weapon and um, it's kind of just dumb I don't think anyone would actually use this I think it's set up so that it will blow up if you if you bump a wall but it like is extremely tough to anything else if I remember right I, I've read it through before I haven't done this yet so uh, but anyways the point is just to show everything that we can mess around with and how to do how to do that this is not bringing a new model this is only when editing an existing model and how to change parameters All right, so before going deeper into the vehicle configuration, first we will prepare basic prefab to work with. In this chapter, we'll look at basic file structure, basic, preparing basic prefab inheriting from the UAZ 469. Briefly check already assigned components to the UAZ 469. This goes over the file structure. This is how things are set up in the, well, I guess the game overall, but uh, when we look at our files, I can point to this structure in the Arma Arma Reforger tools. So they jump right into preparing a prefab. So now we're going to go back to the launcher. Now looking at the launcher, we have all these things. None of these are what we're going to use. These are all things I've messed with in the past, some of my projects. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new project. And because I don't plan on using this at all for anything, I'm just going to name it, what is this, car modding tutorial. And, you know, I can change the location where it's stored. I can make things dependent. And this would be like, say I wanted to edit a vehicle of a mod that's in the workshop or something, I, a car I've brought in before or anything along those lines, you can add dependencies here so that you can use them in this project. You wouldn't be able to edit them in this project, but you could call them or use them in this project. So I'm going to rename this. Now I don't want to change my location, so we're all set. Um, you can see that the Arma Reforger, there's a check mark box here this will always be checked this always needs to be checked in order to work correctly every project and mod you create is based off the base game and it's just not set up to work without it uh, with weird settings you can uncheck this but it just it just won't work everything will crash and it won't even open up if you go through the settings and mess with this later so that's why this is checked none of these other things that i have here will be um, also to note like i said a lot of these are my own projects or some mods that I've looked at from the workshop, you won't see these if you're starting out new. And I don't I don't like having spaces in any of my stuff. So I'm gonna get rid of these. Alright, so gonna go ahead and create that. Now we're opening up our project. All right, so this is Infusion Workbench, and you can see I got uh, my name of my car, my car modding tutorial. This is the name of my project up here. We have access to all these different editors. This video, I'm not going to go into depth onto all of the options here. A lot of these I don't even know how to use yet. I haven't explored them a ton. What we're going to use a lot, the first thing I want to start out with is our resource browser. So the resource browser, you can see the different files and things available for us to call from or edit. So here we have our Arma Reforger file and this is all of the files that are in the game. Now you can't, let's see, uh, I got to be careful how to word this, you can't edit models or there's a lot of things that are locked or you can't change from the base game and 
that is that that's just that's just how it is if something's not your it's set up so that it if it's not yours if you didn't create it you're you're really not supposed to mess with it you're not supposed to be able to download models you're not going to be able to um, save texture files anything like that but you can go in here and swap out a model like say you wanted to um, oh and you can obviously change the parameters so say you wanted to go to the, this prefab of a um, I don't know uh, I don't think there's any point in, in going to in a depth of this but say you want to look at a, a, a backpack and you wanted to uh, make some changes to that we can explore all these different items that are in the game and uh, you know that's that's what we're looking at here so I'm going to close that back up now we get to our project the car modding tutorial there's nothing in here right now it's totally empty because we're just starting out and this is where we're going to be wor working that when we do our our vehicle we're going to pull a file or call a file from the base game and our working uh, I, I'm probably not going to word this correctly I'm not sure the best way to to state it but let's just say our working file our copy of our mod is going to be in this folder. All these other ones, these core configs, uh, there's a lot of stuff that I'm not going to bother going over. A lot of this, like I said, I'm new and I don't even know what a lot of this stuff is, but um, that we won't have to really worry about any of these. Okay, so now let's go back to our guide and look at the file, the file setup. So as you can see, this add-on the add-on that we made this is our project and we can see that when we open our project we get the view of all of the um, well this is how the files are structured and some of these we can see in the infusion workbench but not all like we can see the arma reforger file here is uh, I think you can think of this as the game assets and this little branch here. And you can explore that more on your own. We're going to go right into preparing our prefab. So if you haven't done this already, there's a way to connect your account with the workbench. So these little links here are actually super cool. Once you get this set up, this is, this is talked about in an earlier modding tutorial. You can click on this and it will bring it right open in your workbench, which is super cool, really helpful when you're going through this. I, I don't, didn't do much with Arma 3, but BI has made this really easy for people to use. They want, it looks like they want us to mess with this. So um, we're gonna click on, we can click on this and it'll bring us right to the part that we need. So I got this little uh, pop-up, uh, open Arma Reforger workbench, just allowing it to connect to my workbench so now I'm going to go back to workbench and boom we're here it is pulled open the UAZ that we want to use now let's go where is this so I can close these branches to find where this is in my resource browser I'm going to right click on the window up here so you can see I have well I guess I just step back we when I start working on something or I open one of these files to work on or look at it brings open one of these windows up here at the top and I can swap between these I don't care about working this backpack we're not gonna look at this again I'm gonna close this out we're working on this UAZ 469 and to find where this is in the resource browser I'm going to right click and navigate to file Now that we are in, well, just to show how to do that, this is where this is located in the base game file. And that's under Armor Forger, Prefabs, Vehicles, Wield, UAZ 469. Now, if I go into this farther, you can see a bunch of the files and stuff for this. So. This is everything from textures to particles to different configs uh, will be located in here. So I believe also this uh, is tied to the animations, but I haven't messed with animations yet, so don't quote me there. But anyways, 
the different parts of here. So you got your wheels, you got your doors, the, the lights and the effects that come from that. And we have, what is this, our windows? But anyways, not so important. Just know that those are there. So let's go back to the tutorial and check what our next step is. All right, so the next thing that we quickly do is replacement of the current assigned materials. Actually, let's step back. So we're starting with creating a new prefab. Look for UAZ 469 in the resource browser, and then by using the methods mentioned in the sample modded weapon documentation to make it obvious what we're doing, call that new prefab UAZ 469 modded. All right, so we're going to go back and do that. So in order to do this, I want to use the UAZ469.et, not the base. If I open up this base, you see that it doesn't have the doors and a lot of these other components. I am not entirely sure. I think there's more to what the base is used for and its importance, but I haven't explored that a lot yet. I just will tell you that's not what we want to use for this. All right, so going to the UAZ, what we want to do now is this is in the in the game files now here i can't uh, i can't really edit this i don't think we can do almost anything to this and you can see it has this little uh this little lock lock pad here what we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of this that we can edit in our oh where'd it go in our car modding tutorial section so how to do that then we also this has gone over in the earlier tutorials I'm going to right click. Oh, no, maybe not. So what I want, right, there we go. So I click on it, I'm gonna right click. I am going to duplicate to car modding tutorial. And like I said, what was the, let's just use what it, what it said to use. So it says to use UAZ 469 modded. I hit OK, and now you can see it brings me right here, and it even opens up the branches to show where it's stored, and it added in all the parent files as well. We now have our UAZ 469 modded. Now you notice it doesn't have all the materials and texture files. Those are still in the Arma Reforger files. It's everything that's attached to this is, I guess, um, so say you went in and you looked at the texture that's assigned to this, you'll notice that it is the base texture of the base game and that it's being like called to there. But anyways, you notice now we don't have that little lockbox. We can now edit this. So let's see, do I want to, no, we're good here. So that's, that's what I want to do here. Going back, now we are ready to, oh, and yeah, right there in the link, this is the information about the infusion links. Look into that, it's super helpful. All right, so changing multi-material base color. The next thing we'll do is replace the current assigned materials. All right, so we're gonna make a duplicate of this material. I'm gonna go ahead and use that infusion link. So this is what your materials look like when we are, and let's go ahead and find where this is. We're gonna to navigate to that file and you can see that this UAZ 469 body is in the Armor Reforger, Assets, Vehicles, Wheel, UAZ 469, and in Under Data. So I'm going to go ahead and make a duplicate of this. Mm, actually, yeah, we're going to make a duplicate of this. We don't want to inherit and we don't want to override. Those have different functions and I'll go over those in different videos. Uh, we might it, we might end up using them, I'm not sure now, but um, if not, I, they will be gone over in the earlier videos. I guess uh, 
the videos that should come before the, the car modding tutorial. So what was the name for this one again? We're going to do a body modded. That's it. All right, so now this is in our our modding folder, our project fi uh, file, and we can mess with this. We can change it around. If I change this, it won't change the base UAZ settings or anything. It won't affect that. This actually won't even affect our car yet. We're probably the. I'm gonna keep following the tutorial, but right now this is just sitting on its own. If I mess with this or put new textures on it or did anything with this, it's just sitting here and it's just not assigned to this vehicle yet. So it wouldn't do anything. All right, so let's go back to the next step. All right, so here's telling us to use this material one base to and mess with the sliders that are in here in order to see what happens and just get a feel for how this changes. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see, where can I find my, we're going to go back to my prefabs, vehicles, wheeled, UAZ. I'm going to open up our car. And now uh, this is our prefab in our project file. I'm going to edit this prefab over here under my resource variants. Now this brings up our world editor. It brings up a new window and you will have to swap back and forth between these. Uh, again, earlier videos will, and other information, you can see the main differences between this, but this is where we edit our prefabs and we're going to do the next steps in here. So now in order to assign that material that we made to this vehicle, let's see, I got it. I haven't explored this one yet. So let's see where this is. We've got all these different components. So if you've already done the weapon modding tutorial, you can see there's a whole lot more components and options available for vehicles than there were for the weapons. All right, and is this where we wanna be? Mesh object. so we can see a little bit better. All right, I'm skimming through these, make sure I pick the right one. I think what we're looking for here is the mesh object component. Now, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is what we're looking for. All right, so we can see here that it is calling the model, and this XOV is the model that is being used for this uh, for this object. The materials we want to use. All right, so this is clearly our mirror. This is the body. And yeah, this is the one we want to change. So we can see that this is calling the base game one, the one that we can't mess with and that we made a copy of, but it's not our body modded one. So we want to change that out. What we're going to do is hit these two dots in order to bring open our file explorer and select the one we want. Now, 
it starts out, it's in the Armor Reforger one, so we can close this out. That's not where we want to go. We can search for the one we want, but I'm going to show you how these files branch out down to the material file, the EMAP file that we want. And this is the one we just made. We're going to click OK to select it. And now this is the this is all set up. So hmm, wait, hold on one second. Oh, look at that. Man, I crashed. All right, so let me bring it back up. Try again. And this is this is common. This happens all the time. Now let's see, we didn't save, we didn't save this, so uh, it's a good lesson to save frequently, but that's okay, we can just run through this so we know exactly what we need to do. Oh, I was wrong. Uh, I'm going to cancel this. It looks like our, yep, there it is. I didn't pay attention. So we're going to open back up our car modding tutorial. And this brought us right back to the asset we want to work on. Great. So this is the base game one, which we don't want. We want our modded one. And I'm going to go back to the edit prefab, pulling open my world editor. So now in this window, going back to my mesh object, going down to our UAZ469 body. We're going to change this to our UAZ469 body modded. And look at that time we didn't crash. So now I want to edit this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on that image. And this brings open the, we're back in the Infusion Workbench. So you see we now have our modded vehicle file. And we can swap to our material file, which is attached to this vehicle now. And we can look at these options and presets, all these different sliders. This is what the tutorial is referring to. So let's look at, let's go back to our tutorial. Which one, what was it telling us to mess with? All right, so it's talking about the type of material that we're using, which is a matte PBR multi, a uh, bunch of different uh, options with that. There's different kinds of material files that you can use in here, but the one we're using is the matte PBR multi. And for now, trying to change material one base, getting some interesting variation and just play with the sliders. So let's go back and check that out. So let's see if we can figure out which one it's talking about. So mud stuff, dirt, material four, material three, two, and one. The base this is the one we were looking for. All right, so our material one base. Um, we don't actually have anything here, which I thought was going to be the case. So looking here. Yeah, so now try changing material one base to get some interesting variation and just play with the sliders. You know what? I might know why this was. I may have made a mistake. Let's go back to our world editor. Close that out. All right, so we're back to our infusion workbench. We're looking here. And I'm going to, I'm going to go, so now there's nothing here. And I thought there would be something here. In order to check that I set this up right, I'm going to go look at the original file, the base game file, to make sure it's the same. So to do that, I'm going to follow the same branch, the series of branching to get to this as I did our car modding tutorial, which is prefab, uh, no, actually, sorry, the material one is going to be in assets, vehicles, wheeled, UAZ data. So assets, vehicles, wheeled, 
WAZ469 data. And look at there it is. I'm going to pop it open. And that one is the same. Oh, you know what? Maybe we're messed up because I. Hmm. All right, so we have the. We have this one open. Ah, oh, geez, sorry. I guess I'm all screwed up. Maybe I just didn't have the right one open. So it's really important to make sure <laughs> to, you, to keep looking back, confirming that you're in the place that you expect, because these look exactly the same. So it's easy to get them messed up. So from the top, we're going to car modding tutorial. We're going down to our data. We're going to our body modded. I've got this open now. Yeah, and our material one base is empty. And now I can go back to the base, the base game one, the normal one that we pulled it from. And that one is also empty. So it looks like it's, it's, it's how it's supposed to be set up. So with that, we can mess with our sliders like his set. So in order to do, you know, there's a lot of things I'm just not sure about. So to learn, I'm just going to start messing with it because I can always undo this or reset it. What I just did was use the uh, Control Z to to make some changes. So let's see let's see what uh, what we can do here. Uh, so here I have the color. Let's mess with the color here. So right now we have this like kind of greenish brown. Let's make this car yellow. Let's uh let's go with a like a yellow. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be real ugly. Let's see what happens. All right, so I have that here. I'm gonna go back to our modded. Oh yeah, and that's that's what happened. We get uh since we did the body and the base uh, that didn't affect the doors, didn't affect the tires, and you see it still has like these mud the mud patterns and stuff. And it, but our base color is now yellow. So messing with this, we can get a bunch of variations, blah, blah, blah. You can edit the color this way. All right, so what's next? All right, so this, uh, this material will be described in detail at a later stage. Okay, on to the next one. All right, so that took a while. I'm going to take a one minute break, uh, use this as a stopping point, and next we're going to be going into the components overview. Before I step away, I am going to save all for my project. Um, and you know what, I, say, I went to Infusion Workbench and I did my save all, but what I also want to make sure I do is I go to my world editor and I save my prefab with options. This will, so then I bring up save the changes to my UAZ modded. Yes, I want that, okay. And now this is gonna save those things in, in place. If I exit out or I think you, if I, some things won't be kept if I just save the prefab without the options. So make sure you, if you want everything to stay, if you change parameters, if you change values, we change the color, make sure we save the prefab with options. All right, and with that, before we go on to the next one, I'm going to use this as a breaking point.